obviously with anything that's going to come out and be public there's a bit of trepidation that they may not cover everything that we hope for um, but there's also a lot of hopefulness based on when they published the first report it was quite hard hitting which we hadn't expected it to be uh, and I'm hoping this is an equally if not stronger document. You know, my feelings coming up to the publication of report, I, I, I'm quite apprehensive. Um, uh, I, I'm, we've waited a long time. So I'm hoping that the ill treatment that we receive, the, um, the way that government, the way that private companies behaved, um, is going to be fully exposed. The butt passing um, that took place during the public inquiry, where none of the corporate core participants took any responsibility for their actions, um, is going to come to an end, the buck will stop and we will finally be in a position where we have the truth and we will be able to call out um, some of these companies and the government for the way that they behaved. What I'm hoping is that the Grenfell Tower Inquiry Report will highlight the institutionalised indifference that saw private companies put profit before people. And if this report needs to do one thing, is create a legacy where anyone that works in government, local authorities, manufacturing, um, construction, whenever they're making a decision, they need to think about the consequences the consequences of the Grenfell Tower fire that saw the death of 72 people and whenever they're making a decision always put people before profit. This has to be a landmark report. This has to be a report where that sees a tide change in the way that organisations and government, local housing, social housing, local uh, authorities are governed and managed because we've seen all too often in lots of different organisations as well where people have completely sidestepped their areas of responsibility. We can't allow that to happen. You know, unfortunately this country's governance is broken at the moment and this report needs to change that.